Greetings and salutations, and thank you for clicking on the video. This is just a quick one to turn you on to something that I just got introduced to today, and that is Ravefinity, which is an open source design project. I just went through and reinstalled a bunch of computers with Linux Mint 17.3 and messed around with it. And, you know, the Mint X themes with 17.3, they're okay. And I'm not usually somebody who's always like, I need to have my desktop customized, but they kind of get on my nerves after a while, both the uh, regular themes that are in the system and a lot of the ones you can download. So I was telling Mr. Server, Jeremy O'Connell, about that this morning, and it turns out that he has just run across this project himself, and he is using uh, some very cool themes from them. And if you take a look at their page here, they've got a lot of really nice looking stuff. They've got icon themes, and uh, the one that I was very interested in was Ambience and Radiance which is the color GTK theme. So I put it on my system. We can take a look at that. This is what it looks like when it's up and running. Here are the icons. So it's very nice looking system. And it's just gorgeous. Now, and do like these icons. They're, they're clean. They pop. They're gaudy enough with the colors to make them easy to see what they are for me. I mean, usually when you see my videos, I'm always using the GNOME icon set. So I figured I'd go ahead and put these icons in for a while and see how I could deal with them. I really don't need two of those open now, do I? And so anyhow, this works really nice with Ubuntu 14.04, 16.04, Ubuntu Mate. We've tried it there. It should work with Unity. It works with a bunch of other desktops. There's some great documentation on the site with different desktops. You can check that out if you want to. And what I did was is I just took and put all the commands to install it into a script. So let's go ahead. Well, we can just take a look at that. I'm going to open up the terminal here. And we'll take a look at the install commands. And yes, you really need to do hook up this PPA. And yes, you really need to install all these packages. I know I feel the same way about a theme. It's like, do I really want to hook up a PPA, you know? And it's like, well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So let's just take a look at this little script that I wrote up. And it's really kind of funny because the script is actually just what Jeremy O'Connell sent me. He said, here, you need to install this in the email. And I just put a hash bang on top of it and made it executable so I can install it. So I'm going to put this same thing in the description for this video along with the uh, link to the Rave Finity website there so you can check it out. So these is, these are all the packages that you need and you can just install them and you'll end up with what we've got here. Now this is Terminator which kind of runs on its own theme but I actually like what the regular terminal looks like as well. So let's take a look at that in Linux Mint. So you get the Kind of transparent background there very clean lines this looks nice and the other thing i like is that the progress bars really pop so if i get let's just do gr sync okay i'm going to run gr sync but i'm not actually going to do anything with it just so you see this okay now you can see the progress bars and you can see what the the scroll bars look like when that's done that's going to pop up a uh, nice progress bar for us see so that really pops and it's big and wide and I can see what the thing is doing I don't like themes that have squashy tiny little progress bars uh, with colors that are kind of hard to tell where they're at I like to see things like that so that's pretty cool so once you install all these lovely packages here you will get this really cool bunch of stuff to choose from now I have chosen to go very conservative because I just really like the ambience theme and I wanted kind of a flat theme going on with the system but you are more than welcome to go absolutely crazy with this and come up with something and is that gonna open I'll try that again thought I clicked on it boom there we go okay might get two of these Yep, I sure did. I got two. It just took a little while for it to open, I guess because I'm capturing video. So anyway, uh, when you open this up, watch. It's like Christmas. I mean, you've probably played around with installing themes on Cinnamon before if you're a Linux Mint user and you install a theme and you hope and pray that they give you all the elements and all that stuff like that. Watch this. I mean, it's amazing what you have to choose from here. Now, unfortunately, for some reason or other, you don't get the previews. 
So you just kind of have to poke at it. But, I mean, we have ambience, all this stuff for ambience, and radiance is in here as well. So if you wanted to put the radiance theme in, you could. And same here, it's like Christmas. Just all these different variations. There are dark themes, light themes. And then as far as icons are concerned, look what you got to choose from. All these different colors and styles and things. It's just amazing. So anyway, that's what I came up with it. Um, I guess if you were really had an OCD fit, you could go through this thing, like spend a day trying different combinations of all this stuff. But this looks good enough for me. This is what I wanted. Just something that was understated, but yet modern, and something that had enough contrast in it that I wasn't going to get uh, tired of looking at it. Because that's my problem with Numix. The last time I talked about themes, I was using Numix. Numix looks great, but it seemed to me that the, the text in a box was just harder to see with new mix and it was like they kind of muted the colors or something like that or maybe the anti-aliasing wasn't work right the fonts didn't look right to me anyway so let's see let's find something else to open up so we can see let's look under sound and video we'll open up videos see what that looks like with this theme so yeah you get an idea it's very simple straightforward you can do whatever you want with it and if this is something you're interested in, you can check out the website, and I'll also put these in the description for this video. Thank you for watching, gang, and be sure and check out Easy Linux on the web. Check out Easy Linux on Facebook, and if you do, give it a like, and also check out freedompenguin.com for lots of cool articles about Linux. We'll do it again soon. Thanks for watching.